Now in terms of why I'm going to recommend auto exposure brackets and why I do this personally for real estate photos, I'll mention a few key reasons. With bracketed images, what we're essentially doing is taking multiple shots at different exposure levels. So say a normally exposed shot, one that is minus two stops underexposed, one that is minus four stops underexposed, one that is plus two stops overexposed, and one that is plus four stops overexposed, and ultimately going to combine these five images into one high dynamic range or HDR image in post. By doing this, what we're able to do is still capture a wide amount of dynamic range that captures the brightest parts and the deepest shadows of our image while being able to shoot this pretty quickly in the real world and edit this in a pretty consistent way too in post when we go into Lightroom. Taking multiple bracketed images that form a high dynamic range picture in the end is a workflow that works best for me and I think actually works well for a lot of photographers today.